सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टूडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट प्रोडक्ट डिजाइन मोशन ग्राफिक एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग ब्लैंडर सी गाइस दैट्स माई फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ एनिमेशन गाइस दिस टाइम आई एम टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट स्टाइल ऑफ प्रोडक्ट डिजाइन एनिमेशन राइट इट्स माई फर्स्ट इफेक्ट एंड नेक्स्ट वन गाइज आई शो यू माई सेकेंड वन सी गाइज दैट्स माई सेकेंड वन राइट इट्स लुकिंग रियली कूल इट्स माई क्लोथ डायनेमिक इफेक्ट राइट इट्स माई 3D product. Okay, so guys, now it's really simple and best tutorial for beginners. So guys, delete your all assets. Guys, you should take a simple product. So this time, guys, I'm using Blender Kit add-on. This one and type cream tube. Enter. See guys, that's my 3D product. So this product is fit for my work. So simple click. Yeah, and this my 3D product. So increase scale size. so scale size increase like this yeah right and guys click on here this is my texture preview yeah okay so now guys select all part this one this is my all parts so joint so simple select all and right click joint yes this is my simple joint right and go to on edit mode select all yeah this is my simple object okay in one layer and now next one guys select your object and go to on here and firstly guys click on here this my apply and all transform check and next one go to on again object and set origin to origin to geometry check this one yes so click on here and now next one select this layer this one and guys this time i'm using plane axis check yes so go to on again select this product and guys this time i apply array effect so use array check yeah and guys array count i like this time 8 is good 8 right this is my count okay so guys now go to on here array and uncheck this one offset and click on here object offset check yes this is my object so guys click on here this my empty object check yeah this my layers right it's simple okay so guys now next step select this layer this one select this 3d product and one more time object apply all transform check yes that's it right okay so guys now select this empty object this one empty layer and guys rotate your layer this one this my rotation like this okay so y rotation change yeah like a 45 yes perfect but guys not perfect position so press 1 and now next one guys select your object and go to on here edit mode yes select all and guys i change only position so location this one axis change simple yeah little bit more yes great right see guys that's my object and position rotation effect right and now guys i create animation so go to on here this my empty so go to like a 150 frame and this my rotation and y rotation check so go to on first frame and y i like zero and check yes that's it so guys go to back and play yes perfect see guys that's my rotation effect it's really simple guys right and go to on here frame this one i like 180 i will create also camera movement animation okay so guys play yes right see guys that's my simple animation and now guys i create more uh, dynamic effect so guys select your keys and go to on here this is my graph editor yeah and guys i change some graph editor this one and guys down so guys select your key first key and create shape like this so holding control key and increase so guys select this one and holding control key and increase okay so guys go to on here yes perfect and one more time play yes see guys that's my dynamic effect and fast firstly guys it's slowly and next one it's fast and this one slow yes perfect right it's really good and again go to on here timeline and go to down 
Okay, so guys, now next one press zero. Okay, so now guys, I take camera. So guys, I create new collection, select, and I take collection actually camera here camera check and guys rotation 90 0 and 0 so press 0 for camera and go to like a 150 and location change like this yeah like a minus 30 yes good and now guys go to like a 140 actually 150 and location check so guys select this camera and location check and now guys i go to like a 150 actually last 180 and location change like this yeah that's it so check yeah and guys now select one more time select this key and same guys go to on here this one graph editor and go to an up see guys that's my camera graph right and guys select this one graph and go to on here and play yes perfect right see guys that's my really cool effect camera movement animation and go to on here and timeline and now guys play yeah this is my first effect yeah perfect and second one it's my camera movement animation yes great okay so guys that's it it's my first effect right and now guys next one you can apply material and background it's second one okay so guys next step i create i teach you second type of animation like a cloud dynamic effect so guys stop go to file and create new project new project check select all and delete so same guys i apply same tube and enter yeah so guys apply click and select this one so increase scale size increase more like a 30 is perfect yes and now next one guys select your beauty cream product and guys frame i like 300 actually 250 is good 250 is default is good okay so now guys firstly i create rotation effect rotation like this okay so guys check and go to a last like a 360 and check yes that's it so guys click on here and play yeah it's my first animation and now next one guys i create cloud dynamic effect so go to back and guys i create new collection select this collection and this time guys firstly i take this time curve create curve so use archimedian tool and archimedian check and go to on here so guys firstly turns increase and height increase like this guys turn i like five and step this my segment so guys the uh 60 is good and go to on here height increase like a two yes and this my height and height i like three is perfect yes see guys that's my simple shape right it's my curve spline and now object mode press one and select this one and go to down like this simple yes okay so now next one guys i apply this time plane for cloth so guys select this one and i take plane and guys increase plane size so increase like this five is good and why it's a little bit change like a 0 0.8 yeah uh, more like a 0 0.6 yeah 0 0.6 is good okay so guys next one uh select this one plane and i apply this time guys loop cut so edit mode and select this edge and right click use loop cut and slide check and enter yes and number of cut increase so number of cut i like eight is perfect yeah eight is good so press seven for top view panel and now guys this time select all and right click subdivide it and number i like 15 yeah 15 is good right this is my simple plane right okay so now guys select this plane and i change rotation this one rotation i like 90 90 check and little bit change position yes right this is my 90 
x90 okay so guys select this one plane and i apply this time curve tool select this one and i apply curve yeah and go to on here deform axis is good and object curve this my spiral check yes and guys go to on here select this plane and location x location change like this see guys that's my x location but guys not correct on falling path it's not falling path right okay so don't worry so location zero and guys select this one this my spiral so copy this one copy and select this plane and z same paste yeah that's it guys right i create copy and go to on here zero yes perfect so guys select this plane and x location okay so guys i will show you so guys my spiral uh location x zero zero at this my z location and same plane select this plane and location x zero zero and same position on my spiral right okay so guys select this one plane and go to on here guys create animation like this right it's really simple and create animation like this okay so now guys i take camera so guys next one i create new collection so right click new collection check select and i apply this time camera so press zero for camera and all rotation zero 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 and y axis change and up yeah good yes and also guys little bit front like a 13 is perfect minus 13 yes and rotation change so rotation like a 25 25 check guys i create simple camera position camera rotation animation and go to one last so guys first is 25 and second one i take minus 25 and check yes that's it so guys play yeah it's my first effect right camera movement animation and now next one guys select this one plane and go to an up yes and like a five yeah five is good and check so guys go to like a 150 150 and location change this one up yeah perfect like a 50 and and check so guys go to back and play so play yeah see guys that's my simple animation right and now next one guys i apply this time vertex group i create vertex so guys press tab so press one and this my front view panel so guys this time select this plane this one plane and go to on edit mode edit mode check so guys select this one select this time guys vertex right i select only vertex bottom vertex right and go to on here and check and assign check guys this most important part and go to on object mode yes and now i go to on here and i apply this time cloth tag cloth check yes and go to on here see guys that's my cloth presets so i apply this time silk silk preset so silk preset check yes and go to on here so guys catch it i like uh, 300 300 and go to on here shape so guys see that's my pin group i like same vertex group check and collision guys collision i like five and self collision check so guys friction i like one friction decrease and up and guys also this my cloth quality increase like a eight yes that's it see guys that's my simple close setting and now guys play yeah see guys that's my really cool cloth animation so stop so press zero for camera and click on here so guys go to back and play yes perfect see guys that's my really cool cloth dynamic and now select right click auto smooth check and see it smooth okay so guys i will apply subdivision surface for more smoothness yes perfect see guys that's my first effect guys you can apply more cloth effect is dependent on your work so it's perfect so guys stop and now next one guys press one 
and select this plane and press control C and V guys most important part press control C and V yeah and select this one this map plane and change guys position so guys select this plane and plane and plane key shift like a 30 and one more time play yes see guys that's my first effect and after that it's my second yes good right guys you can apply more cloth is dependent on your work so select this one plane and press control c and v copy and paste yes good so guys select this one third one and shift layer simple shift layer like this yes and one more time guys lastly go to one here this my baking and bake all dynamic check okay so guys my final baking is finished so press zero for camera and play yes it's looking really good right see guys that's my beautiful cloth dynamic effect it's really good right okay so guys my final work is finished and lastly guys i apply subdivision surface so select this one first and same subdivision surface subdivision surface of yeah and two and two select second one and go to one here and third one and i apply same subdivision surface two and two yes and guys back and play yes see guys that's my final work right it's looking really simple right it's my motion graphic product design effect right okay so guys that's it. my final work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you